Division of Money There was a boy, Manoj, and he likes chocolates, so we went to the shop and bought 8 chocolates for Rs. 358. Now what would be the price of one chocolate? In order to find this, we need to divide 358 by 8. This is the total amount by the number of chocolates. How do we do it? First, we write the two numbers as shown. And then, place the decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point of the dividend. Now, we will start our division from the thousands place. Look, we first divide 35 by 8. As we know, 8 into 4 is equal to 32. So we write 4 in the thousands place of the quotient and write 32 below 35 and then subtract 35 minus 32 is equal to 3. So we write 3 here. Now bring 8 down from the hundreds place and Divide 38 by 8, as 8 into 4 is equal to 32. So, write 4 in the hundreds place of quotient and write 32 below 38 and subtract 38 minus 32 is equal to 6. So, we write 6 here. Now, bring 0 down from the tens place and Divide 60 by 8, as 8 into 7 is equal to 56. So write 7 in tens place of quotient and write 56 below 60. And subtract 60 minus 56 is equal to 4. So write 4 here. Now bring 0 down from the ones place and divide 40 by 8. As 8 into 5 is equal to 40. So write 5 in the ones place of quotient and write 40 below 40 and subtract 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. Now there is no digit left to bring down. So this means we stop division here. Thus, the price of one chocolate is equal to rupees 44.75. So here, 358 is a dividend, 8 is a divisor, 44.75 is quotient, and 0 is a remainder. For division of money, you remember these steps. First, write the decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point of the dividend. Then, Divide the numbers just like ordinary numbers.